James was waiting at the junction for Toby to bring trucks from the quarry. James hated trucks, but he hated lateness more, and Toby was very late indeed. At last, the old tram arrived. You took your time, grumbled James. Thought you'd enjoy the scenery, did you? Actually, said Toby, the water column at the quarry is out of order so I had to stop and fill up at the station. I would have been even later if I hadn't done that. Bah! snorted the red engine. You could have asked the trucks to give you a push. You know how much they like that. That evening, James was still grumbling. Those little engines have no respect for us on the main line. Always late, and we only ever see them when they have dirty trucks for us to pull. But I like trucks, Murdoch chipped in. In fact, I'm very good at pulling them. Pah, snorted James. It's shiny coaches that you should be interested in, Murdoch. Clean, well behaved, and full of people admiring us engines. Ah, pondered Murdoch. But if it weren't for freight, they wouldn't get essential things like food and letters. And we wouldn't get coal. James ignored this and went to sleep. His mood was still sour in the morning when he arrived at the big station to collect his first train. I hope you'll be on time today, little Toby. Toby decided to say nothing. He set off with Henrietta, but suddenly... Ooh, ow! He cried and stopped. His driver looked him over. A spring has broken. It doesn't look like you'll be doing much today, old boy. But what about my passengers? Asked Toby worriedly. They can't be left here. He looked over at James. Maybe. No, thank you, James interrupted. You wouldn't catch me on a rickety branch line. Besides, on the main line, all these people get to admire my lovely red paint. And he scurried off before another word could be said. We'll have to arrange a bus, I suppose, sighed the fat controller. I'll send for Bertie, and then we'll sort out taking Toby to the works. Excuse me came a gentle voice. But may I be of assistance? Murdoch! But don't you have a train to take? I do, but it requires trucks from the quarry. This way I can help Toby too, and show James how a proper mainline engine should behave. He explained about what James had said. Well then, chuckled the fat controller, away you go! Murdoch looked quite strange on the branch line with Henrietta in tow. Children stopped and waved as he went by. People swarmed round him at the stations too. Murdoch enjoyed the fuss and soon reached the top station where Mavis had left his trucks for him. James was waiting at the junction for Toby's passengers. <laughs> Late again, he huffed. Suddenly, he heard an unfamiliar puffing from along the line. 
Who is that? He said to himself. Hello, James, looked Murdoch as he eased to a halt. Sorry I'm late, but then I am playing branch line engines right now. James was almost speechless. What are you doing on Thomas's branch line? I volunteered to help, like any sensible engine would. I've been swarmed by excited passengers at every station. It's not often they see a big engine on their quiet line. But, but, well, spotted James. You look quite ridiculous. A big engine like you with a small coach like Henrietta. James scuttled away, not quite sure what to think, leaving Murdoch chuckling to himself. With any luck, he said, to no one in particular, there'll be no more talk of those branch line engines.